back guys and today we have a cool set for you today this is the lego star wars set number 75378 bark speeder escape featured in the mandalorian the set has 221 pieces four minifigs a speeder build and a lamp build the set will cost you $29.99 and releases may 1st which is tomorrow at the time of release for this video I was able to find this set early at my target a couple of days ago, so I'm super pumped to be able to have this somewhat early. <laughs> so let's get into this set, starting with the minifigures. So first off here, we have the standout minifigure that we'll start off with, which is Kelleran Beck. And this is his first appearance in a Lego set, and I think they did an amazing job with this one. He has exclusive um, face, torso, leg printing all over. No arm printing, unfortunately, but that's okay. And if we take a look at the back, he has a nice little cloth cape piece and some more back printing as well. He wields two lightsabers, green and blue, just like he does in the show. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell in the video, but he has nice gold, like shiny gold features along his robe, uh, along the lining of the robe, which is a very nice um, touch that they added. The set also features two 501st clone troopers, and these are um, not the ones you'll, you'd find in the 501st battle pack, both versions actually, because this one is the normal 501st clone trooper, however it does have the helmet holes, which I know some people will be pretty um, picky on, however, but um, I'm just happy that I get two more 501st clone troopers to be fair. <laughs> And same deal, same printing regardless, um, same face printing as well. And you just get two of these. And I know people have talked about like, why not, you know, a course on guard or something like that. And well, I can't answer that question, but it's something to think about. But I think for what it is, I think it's fine that we get two 501st troopers. At least it still makes sense within the context of the scene. And lastly, we have the Baby Yoda minifigure, which is nothing new, but it still always amazes me how tiny this little child is. It's not a child. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, same same deal as all the other Baby Yodas we've got in the past. No, all the Grogu's, sorry. But <laughs> so nothing special about this one, unfortunately. Now in the way of builds, first off, we have a lamp post or like a street light. <laughs> which um, I know within the community, I've seen some mixed um, thoughts about it. Some saying that it's only here to increase peace count, which jacks up the pri uh, price. And some who just enjoy it because it's one of the only few, maybe the only piece of a Jedi temple we'll get in a Lego set at the current moment. And I think I'm, I'm fine with it, honestly. I think it's a nice addition to have. It gives more scenery but it does feel a little unnecessary i can get that argument however but strangely enough i feel like i would display the lamp post more than the actual speeder bike itself which is a crazy thing to say but uh, i think it's just the fact that we've gotten so many speeders which i'll get to later we have baby yoda's little crib here which is pretty cool i don't think this is the first time we've gotten this um we may have gotten this kind of build design with the Razor Crest or whatnot, but I think the colors itself are different with the um, nice dark red and white to go along with the colors of the speeder brake enough. And pretty self-explanatory, you fit the um, the child, the Grogu, inside the little stud there, and he just sits comfortably in there, which is really nice. So I think it's a nice little small build, little egg. Lastly, we have the Bark speeder bike itself, and this design is the same kind of speeder design we get pretty commonly, I'd say. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, the colors are really cool. I do love me some dark red in LEGO Star Wars sets, so having a white and dark red uh, build like this is pretty cool. Um, the style of this is pretty similar to the, uh, the old Clone Wars one with Rex and Obi-Wan. Uh, with like the little side thing however this one is just more to fit um, baby yoda himself and not a whole minifigure though you could probably fit a minifigure just like you can fit a minifigure here in the driver's seat here and then use these little studs here to fit baby yoda you have to open it up a little bit but you know it fits perfectly i think 
with this build it perfectly encapsulates the scene that it's in and weird interesting thing here too is that these um, joints move but that's not part of the play feature at all speaking of play features we have stud shooters in the front as per usual and these ones are quite powerful because once i shot this one it is somewhere in my room that i'm never gonna find unfortunately so yeah uh, cool play features but other than that not much else to it a lot of loose pieces though and unfortunately no weapon storage for the lightsabers <laughs> So all in all, I think this set is pretty good. Um, is it worth the $30? That's up for debate. I'd say with an exclusive minifigure and some uh, clone troopers, I think it is a good pickup. However, for $30, that's really entirely up to you. I would probably recommend um, catching a sale for this at least for like $25 or even $20 if you're lucky. So um, if, you're re if you really need it, if it's like hard to find, but you find one, I'd say pick it up maybe. But... Um, you're really only buying this for the mini for the minifigures. Uh, the build itself is, you know, nothing too particular. So I mean, not much else to say about this. So uh, let me know in the comments um, which made of fourth sets you are guys gonna get this month, because there's some great um, promos and deals going on with that event, and I know I'll be picking up two sets for myself too. So be on the lookout for those reviews when they come out. So. Yeah, that'll do it for today's video. Um, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for the next one. See ya.